Hi, I'm Rachel and this is Emma and we're from Things by Twins. Today we're going to remount an elk horn for one of Emma's neighbours. It is very old, very big and a little bit dead in some places. So we're going to get rid of all that dead, renew it and stick it on her wall. So let's get into it. So these are our supplies today. We've got some sharp things to do all our cutting. We've got some wire to hang the wood up with, some drills to drill holes into the wood. Uh, for hanging. We've got some plant food in here. Uh, our sphagnum moss which is going to go behind the um, elk horn and a bucket to um, moisten it with. A pair of pliers and uh, today our elk has a little bit of scale so we're going to fix that up today too. So this is our elk horn. It's over 40 years old and it fell off the wall. So this is why we're fixing it up today. It was actually on the tiniest little board like this and it's completely overgrown which I'll show you under here this is where our little board was and it's been just been growing on the wall since then so we're actually going to get rid of all of that and just keep these new shields here these um, things that grow on the wall are called shields and we're going to cut off all the yucky leaves this is actually Probably had a little bit of staghorn beetle on there. It looks like that kind of damage. Um, and what you can do is um, very carefully cut these little pups off and um, create new little plants. But the owner of this wants to keep it as one piece. So we're going to very carefully cut this out and mount it on our new board, which is over there. So the first thing we're going to do is to cut off the dead stuff. We're going to use a garden saw. Um, you can tell it's dead because it's really wiggly. So we're just going to cut the back off, make it nice and straight so that the um, so that it'll stick nicely to the board. So let's go. Do you want to come and hold this for me, Rachel? And and cut off the back. So I'm just going to choose nice and carefully where we're going to cut. So now that that's all done, we're going to flip it over, have a look at the other side, make sure that we've got it all even. No, so we need to do a little bit more on this side. We're just, um, we're just doing this to expose new roots so that we have lots of new growth for it to grow a lot bigger. 
normally um, in the wild, you know, you've got um, the breaking down process. So nature and bugs and things would actually break this down and, and um, it wouldn't accumulate like this in nature. Um, what are they called? Millipedes. Millipedes. Stinky, horrible things. Portuguese millipedes. They're going to go in a bucket of water. <laughs> So we want it fairly flat so that it'll attach itself to the board fairly well. We're going to attach it with wire so it's not a big problem but just as much as flat as possible. So this is what it looks like. We've got a really uh, chunky bit in here and then the uh, leafy outer, the shields on the outer part here. They, they get like a real good heart to them. We will, um, any gaps between the, this and the board will fill with uh, moistened sphagnum moss. <laughs> so we're going to prepare the board for um, to mount the elk horn on. We're going to do two holes up the top, not too close to the top, um, and fairly close together to make a hook so that it can hang. We're also going to make two holes probably halfway down the board I'm sitting in front of it so probably halfway down the board two holes here where our wire is going to go through the back um, and through the elk horn uh, and tie it and we'll tie it on like that So here we go, we're ready to pop our elk on the board. We've got two holes here, we've got a handle. Uh, now we just need to fill it up with the sphagnum moss. We've got some wire. And wire it up. It's actually not that heavy. It looks heavy, but it's not. So we're going to cut an amount twice the width of our elk horn. You can just put this over the top and just um, wire it straight onto your board. But to make it look nice, we're just going to try and go under a couple of the shields so that um, that covers the wire a bit. It will grow over it eventually, it's no big problem, but we want it to look nice now. Now we're just popping the wire both sides into their little holes. Pulling it through. So we're going to pull this as hard as we can. Link, uh, what did you call it? Twitching. <laughs> um, twist the two ropes, uh, bits of wire together. So as a last little bit, we're just going to pretty it up a bit and um, uh, like some bits we accidentally oops yeah squished crushed and also we're going to get rid of the um, dead bits and affected bits from the staghorn beetle and um, then we'll give it a little bit of a feed and a spray let's go let's get rid of that little bit there 
so I'm not going to hurt it just by taking off a few dead leaves. So on your stag, on your elk, sorry, so on your elk there are um, sometimes little brown bits on the back side and that's actually um, how they reproduce. They also reproduce by clumping uh, but these are spores and they'll mature and fly around the place and find somewhere nice and moist and warm to um, to germinate and uh, so yeah that's it's not it's nothing bad it's just normal yeah. that one close to you. so um, this is what I was talking about with the scale you got little um, white dots on there and they will actually suck the energy out of the plant and eventually kill it so we're just going to put an oil on that you can use any kind of horticultural oil but today we're using um, eco pest oil it just suffocates the, the um, bug and you'll need to repeat do this because sometimes you don't always get every single little one of them and just keep an eye on it really so there we go all um, sprayed and ready to go and we actually took a lot of the, the scale affected areas off because those leaves aren't going to give much energy to the plant anyway because they've got so much um, recovering to do so we've just taken those off we're just going to pop a few little pellets uh, down in each little you can put it put it down the center there in the center. Yep. and then if you can yeah just pop it under a shield yeah just not not too much just a little bit Oh, and apparently, no, not apparently, you can um, put uh, banana peels in there for the potassium, uh, but the, it will attract ants. So that's why we just prefer to use plant food. An organic, an organic plant food. So that's it, we're all done. It was pretty mm -hmm. easy. Except for the sawing part, that was pretty, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty hard. Get some muscles on your, yeah. on your bones. Yeah. For that one, not used to that. Uh, so we'll give you a picture of the um, of the elk in its Ooh. home yep. Yep, when it goes back, because it's at the neighbour's house, not this house. And we'll um, <gasps> that was the dog. If you have any questions, just let us in the know in the comments below on the YouTube channel or Facebook's fine. So we'll see you in the next video. Bye.